Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this week's episode you are going to see me make this live edge shelf behind us and we put a nice bit of oak underneath the bed as well just to do some finishing touches. So enjoy. So the first thing that I did when I got the live edge timber was remove the bark. You don't want to be keeping any bark on this timber purely because it will just dry up and fall off. Not only that but it can still carry some bugs. So some areas of the bark were really easy to get off but other parts were pretty tricky. Uh, it all depends on how dry the oak is really and how long it's been seasoning for. But all I did to remove it was use a flat headed screwdriver and a hammer just to try and chisel it off. Uh, the reason I didn't use a sharp chisel is because I didn't want to damage the wavy edge of the timber. And then I used my combi drill with a wire wheel brush on it just to remove any last bits of bark. Then I used the sanding block just to remove any sharp edges. But then it was on to using the orbital sanders, um, just working my way through the grits, starting quite low at around 120, moving up to about 400. So before you go and rip £50 worth of oak in half, it's always good at this point to double check your measurements. And then before you go and pull the trigger again, just double check the thickness as well. I've always found wire wool the best way to sand uh, live edge timbers. It just helps smooth out the wrinkles in the timber. And then I just remove any of the sharp edges and just help the transition into the live edge. And now I'm moving back onto the oak board underneath the bed. And I'm just having to router out some notches so I have room to put my fingers in and lift the bed up. I'm basically doing this with a router bit that has a ball bearing guide on the bottom and just working my way down for it. So now we've moved back on to making the shelf and what I'm doing here is I've worked out the length of the shelf that I want and now I've just put a mitre on it to return it back into the wall.
So underneath the shelf, I want to run an LED light in some leftover track, which we also use for the ceiling light in the van build. And the way I did this was using a 12 mil router bit and clamping on a bit of timber to use as a fence. These marks on the edge of the timber are my centre line for the biscuit joints and to make sure that they all line up properly I'm just holding the shelf on the wall and transferring the marks to the wall. So what I'm doing here is adjusting the biscuit jointer and I'm just making the base of the tool flush with the bottom of the shelf. It's just to make my life easier so when I come to do the biscuit joints in the wall I can just get it level with the mark that I've already made. I had to extend the cable coming out of the ceiling, so I used some soldered heat shrink and then put some extra heat shrink all the way around it and soon realised that I actually made a bit of a pop-up. Just take a little bit more off. Yeah, but then it won't be right up against there. Oh, oh bollocks! No. Don't lean on the new shelf. I built it. <laughs> yeah, but it just like bent loads and it's still drying. The fact that it's still drying, do I just try it? No, I don't want to bend it. The only other thing to do is cut a little hole in there. Yeah, so you can have to slide up and then down. I think that's a, better, that's a better option than doing anything to the shelf. I'm sad it doesn't cover the hole. Well, no, I think I will get something eventually to cover that. Or I can just use filler and it'll just look like a knot. I'm pretty happy with that.
So this is the end result for the shelf. Uh, we're really happy with it. It's really turned out nice. Um, obviously this is the pipe that has all the electrical cable coming through it, feeding the two LED lights here. And this is just a dud. Um, yeah, you could just move this out of the way. It's not even fixed at the top, but it hasn't moved. So works absolutely fine. And then of course, we have just this bit of oak here, which we just used to hide the ply behind it. Um, it looks lovely. Can't fault it. Obviously done the little notches. And uh, yeah, I can't really say much more. It's, it's not a functional piece. It's just a nice bit of oak. Yeah. So that's all we have time for in this week's episode. Um, didn't get a video out last week because we're just so busy at the moment. Obviously, I'm doing this little camper, which will probably be the next video. Um, might split it up into two or three episodes. But yeah, you have that to look forward to. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you like the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. I've cried. I've actually cried. <laughs>